Hello, and welcome back to another video. And yes, my face. Now, some of you may be aware that recently I did a hunt for the lovely Rasher. You know, the lovely spooky pig. And uh, we didn't find him. But luckily, I have connections to people who own spicy switches. And so now I have Rasher here on my island. And today, we are going to be designing Rasher's yard and house in the style of one of my favorite horror films, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Nothing after that matters. I'm thinking of doing the scene where the, the, what are they called, teenagers? <laughs> I'm thinking of doing the scene where the group of youths arrive at a gas station and they're trying to get some food and they're like, ooh, this barbecue food smells nice, but actually it is dirty and not what it seems. But yes, that is what we are doing today. So I will go away now and uh, we will get on with the video. I guess we'll go talk to Tom Nook and, uh, oh God, what do you want? What is it, you? What have you got to say for yourself? flirting with me again, I see. I don't know what to do with you. I really wanted him to leave, but after some consideration, I've decided actually, I like him too much. I'm walking into a termite mound. As one does when one is distracted by pretty boys. I assume. Good job. Oh, there he is, little pig boy. I'm so happy. He's gonna be my leather face. He's wearing pineapples on his shirt. He's so prepared to be my little villain. villain. Love that for him. Ah, I see what I've done. Guess we'll start with the inside. <laughs> I wanted to move his house. I don't want to decorate it inside. I mean, I guess I could... You know what? Fine. We'll just start with the inside of his house and then we can move it after. So we're starting with the inside of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre room. <laughs> and what I had in mind was to uh, get up a picture and I will probably spice that on the screen. But the scene where the... Where they're all sitting around a table and they're about to bash the girl on the head with a hammer. Yeah, that's the scene I want. I like it in here. It's very nice. It's a vibe. What kind of floorings would we have, do you reckon? Oh, the red, because it reminds me of that that wall that's red. Wow, I'm good with words. You know the wall, the one that leads into the abattoir. We want it like nice and dark, because it's very dark, but it's not like red. I gotta turn this music off. It's gonna drive me insane. Now it's eerie. Good. So what does the wall look like? It's kind of like dirty. This, this is quite a dirty wall. We want it like facing the doorway though. In the picture that I'm looking at, the doorway is in the background and then the table is here. Tom, would you like to be involved? Ooh. Sit over there and you can judge me from afar. Now there's a skeleton. We've got to have a skeleton. He's important. Some bones. We do love bones. Oh, and pirate barrels. We're just gonna shove a load of things in. That's usually what I do. Aha! Love that. Skeleton can go in the corner, but there. Let's get the big table in. I feel like that's the very important part of this build, is the table. Okay, this, this might work. And we definitely need the old man at the end of the table. Oh no. What if they can't get in? Damn Tom, why are you gonna do this? Okay, maybe if I move this here. He's not gonna have a bed. He doesn't need a bed. Who needs to sleep when you're a t Texas Chainsaw serial killer? Who, you know, you don't need that. Now, what kind of chairs do we want? For some reason, grandfather is giving me like rocking chair vibes, potentially, like at the head of the table. Oh, look at that, that's horrifying. That's what I see in my nightmares. This wheelchair can go up here. And this is the grandfather and he needs a hammer and a bucket. I got rid of a bucket, put the bucket back. Very important, okay, it's very important for the plot. Grandfather takes hammer and bonks girl on head with it. What about a toolbox? That signifies that it's a hammer, right? It looks like they've got some sort of weird mouse on the table or a possum. Yeah, add that in, because Leatherface wears that. If you could add in custom code stuff into their houses, that would be super cool, but I don't think you can. Yeah, go with that. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh God. I want to add in the, the classic, the face. There it is, the facial mask. Oh yes, look at that. Can you, oh, you can put food in it. What looks the most like human? 
Put that like right down there. Oh yeah, 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 that's good. We need this. Put this over in the corner <laughs> next to the skeleton. He needs it. Maybe, or oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll put it over here by the cooker. Let's get some plates on the table. Oh yeah, can we like turn it so it's like a little bit different? Oh yes. Hey, it's coming together. This is horrible. I love it. Put a little jug of water on the table for them. What a lovely meal. This is lovely. I don't regret this decision. Not at all. And the music, like the, the creaking sounds, not terrifying at all. Really nice. Loving it. The vibes. Spring in my step plays in the background <laughs> as we uh, continue to fill up the table with lovely, delicious food. She's sitting at the head, isn't she? In this shot, she is sitting there. Character whose name I forget. Should have looked that up. But she's sitting all like tied up. So maybe I should have added her. Although when you come into the room, you're going to see them all facing away from you. But if I turn it all around, I'm going to have to turn it all around. I might turn it all around like so, which means the grandfather would be at the other side of the table. You know what? It's fine. But the bucket over there, very important that the bucket goes there. The toolbox is now irrelevant, but it's fine. Maybe a tool will do. Can you add tools to the houses? I don't think you can. Can you? You can. Yes. Okay. What can we use for the, the hammer? The stone axe. Oh my God. It's so perfect. Oh, oh yes. We are doing things. We are working it, which means skeleton. You know what? You can always deal with more skeletons. Skeletons are great. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. Let's put some stuff on the walls. What can we do? We want to put some like some of these candles up. Oh yes, this is a vibe. The skeleton has a bright idea now. Is there anything else we can add on the wall? It's like really horrible. Oh yes. Welcome to the nightmare that is this house. I think they don't really have much on the walls. It's all very like basic and you know me i like wall stuff be some gyroids on the wall to add in the creepy factor and crumpoid kind of looks like the granddad there he is look at him he looks just like him like they look the same can we like lower him anymore so he looks like he's sitting <laughs> that's horrible come back don't wink at me we don't know each other that well what have i done what have i created apart from a nightmare all i can hear is the crunching of the gyroid which is actually the name of my next album. What about a cupboard? A cupboard full of secrets. We don't know what's in there. Probably bones. Definitely bones. You're really gonna just drop a straight up definitely bones when you're running that accent? to change the entire room into it but that's cool chainsaw yes for some reason i really want to give him like an orange one maybe it's just because i like orange but i just feel like orange works maybe put the chainsaw by Leatherface over here yeah that works then we know who it is aha yes the freezer I'm gonna be like i can't walk around this horrible house i'm like well that's that's a you problem all right i've moved it around so now he should be able to walk through because i had a feeling he was gonna yell at me that he couldn't walk around here plan the exterior is it gonna remove everything? Oh God, I was like panicked then thinking it was gonna remove all my work. He's like, oh, you, you don't wanna work on this anymore? You wanna work on the outside instead? Sure, scrap all this then. That's cool, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Sure, we'll go with that. Move on to the next bit, the outside. Yay, okay, so I don't, <sighs> of course you'd be here, wouldn't you? You're in the way, you pain in my butt. I'm gonna need to move his house over here first before I can start doing anything. So I think I will go ahead and time travel forward. Move Rash's house forward, time travel again, and then uh, we'll uh, make a start on the building. So here it is, his house has been moved to the area I want it. I'm thinking, cause like I've already got the gas station up here, but do I want to flatten this and remake it as one area? I mean, first of all, let's get into our lovely uniform beautiful it's not gonna be a huge area because i don't have much to work with but we'll see we'll see what we can produce here i also decided to like work on it during the night time just because that's when the dream address is gonna be and i know some people don't like to work on their islands during the night but i do if it's gonna look like this in the end result i want to know what it looks like otherwise i might be horribly surprised and rasha is going to be here observing me the entire time apparently so that's fun oh this thing the outdoor kitchen that is definitely what i wanted trash bags gotta have some trash bags barbecues those have got to be in here this thing this thing could be like not fish drying but you know drying that <laughs> yeah that i'm never doing that again rasha please do not push me sir i am trying to build you a, a room a pirate barrel Ooh, yeah that's just a jar of perfectly normal glowing moss it's not 
anything out of the ordinary, it is perfectly normal, nothing to fear. I love that customization code for this shopping board. It looks so pretty. Pretty is a loose term. It's pretty in my eyes, at least. You can't have it in other colors. It only... <sighs> Okay, well, that's that's annoying. Oh, yes! Put the blood on it because I swear there's like in the actual film, the, the brother of Leatherface like wipes his blood on the car and they're like really freaked out by it. So yes, we definitely want that. Yeah, okay. So there's their car. Let's put some like wheat fields around it. Get a chainsaw before you forget. I swear I bought like loads of the things. Now, where are they? Look, I have three because every time I was like, oh, buy one. And now I have so many. So we're going to put loads of them out just to make sure we, we use them all. <laughs> yes. <gasps> yes. Okay, that's beautiful. We can put another one up here. Oh, yes. At different angles. I want the wheelchair because... The guy in the wheelchair is my favorite character. Please tell me I have a wheelchair. I don't have a wheelchair. I thought I had one. Ah, this is so important. He is so important to me. I will have to order one and then I can put one in. Yes, but then I forgot because I'm a dumb bitch. We need to put a couple of like bloody footprints around. That's cool. Is it or is it too much? I don't know. Put a few other things around as well. Like little splotches. I love a good splotch. Oh, it looks so cool. We've got the chili cook off and the barbecue over here. Maybe another barbecue over here. Maybe another wheat field just like tucked in here. If I have one. I do. Perfect. Okay, so up here. Up here is where it's like semi-normal. It's just like the abandoned gas station owned by the Sawyers. And you're like, uh-huh, yeah, I mean, this is kind of old and crusty, but there's nothing too unusual about it, right? So then you come down and you're greeted with the rest of the film and it's like, oh, wow, that's, that's a lot of... Um, not good things happening here. And we've still got the chili because it's important to me. <laughs> Incredibly vital plot point. Oh, I might put the fish drying rack here. Yeah, maybe. Uh, do we need something else here? Maybe. Coffee grinder, maybe. Ooh, this is getting so spooky. Ah, I have an idea. What about if I was to do a little miniature house on the beach? Oh, I didn't realize they were two separate colors. You know what? It looks good. What about the store shelf? Ooh, I ain't mad at that. The two-tone shed thing is just a highlight problem. I will change that later. Can this go here though? This can, nice. Oh no, no, ah, everything is going horribly wrong and I don't like it. What's going on? I think there's a gyroid somewhere making very dis- There he is. Sir, are you okay? What if I take some like little camera shots? Be artistic. That thing that I am not. Imagine you're walking around here. You come down, you're like, oh boy, this looks like a fun place that I would like to, to be. I think I just heard a shooting star. Oh, come over here and look down. You're like, ah, this looks like strawberry jam. Mmm, delicious. I would like to eat some of this lovely barbecue food and listen to the shooting the stars going off. Okay, well, I think that's uh, that's us for today. If you like the video, don't forget to tickle that like button. I heard it likes it quite a lot. Comment, like, subscribe, all that jargon, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And just for posterity's sake, she will say goodbye too.